Hi guys, it's Ketan working as a Oracle DBA for more than 15 years in production environment including React and non-React Oracle database. I have developed myself web-based application which is particularly useful to the Oracle production DBA. My main objective through this application is to help other DBA for their routine and repetitive task which includes table space monitoring, undo space, temp space utilizations, database blocking, number of archive generations per hour, number of active inactive sessions, AWR report, SH report, SQL advisory report, and many other tasks. For the application deployment, you can go to this Google and type automations dba.git and you can get this repository. You can download the code from this repository. This is the automations DBA repository. You can download. You can go through this readme file. And go through this installation steps as well as running the test. I have given some sample question and answers also. You can go through the wiki as well, the DBA web menu page and installation steps. In my case, I already installed this as per the steps. Now let's test the, in the, the local system. Here database TNS is over at 12C. Load test is a, is a database. After successful login, you can get this DBA web menu application home. Here you can see this login as a load test user, connect as a 12C database connection string. Now DBA web menu task, this is all the task today. Now for instance, we are interested to know how many session is running with the particular user say load test. Then again, give the database connection string for a 12C, the load test, and click the run. So here we can get the details. Now, the, all the options I have given the sample report, you can, before executions, you can export the sample report and decide whether this is useful or not. The other thing is, you can give the, the different database name and uh, get the details but in that case the database user id and password should be the same for the earlier connected database otherwise we will get the error now go to this sql id if we need to know this particularly sql id details whether the which plan is currently running and whether this plan is a good plan or not. So in this case, this is the plan with the last load time. Now we need to know that in the history, how many the execution plan is available. So in this case, there are two plan, query plan is already exist, this particularly query. So this is useful during the analysis of the long running query. So, I request to go to the each and every options and explore the, all the options, get familiar all these options. Also, I have for the benefit of those others, I have already installed the, the applications in the, the web host Heroku. So you can go through this particularly and uh, before installations you can explore all the task and get familiar and you can install in the, in the local server. Thanks for watching my presentations. You can contact automationsdb at gmail.com for the any query. Thank you.